right. I think I got everything set up. We'll see. If we don't, then... Just wild flailing. Lots of shrugging. Lamia, what are you doing? Hold on a second. Lamia, what are you doing? No, don't... Please... Very epic music for uh, Lamia playing with her stupid toy. Hold on, I'm gonna turn that down just a smidge. Just a scooch? There we go. Hopefully that's a little better. But hey, welcome. How's it going? How are you doing? How are things? Let me just get resettled in here. Don't give me that attitude, Lamia. Uh, more vampire tonight. It's been a minute since we played it. Uh, I'm glad you're doing okay, Fruity. <laughs> I'm glad. I am genuinely glad. Um, yeah. <laughs> I realize the more that I say that, the more it seems like I'm not being genuine. Don't, <laughs> don't bring, don't bring the boat into this. Okay, wasn't wasn't my fault. Server booted me out. Said no more boat for you. Mm -mm. No more boat for you. <laughs> this is not the first time that the server has dumped me while I was on a boat as well. Um. So yeah, that's fun. <laughs> it's okay. I reclaimed all my things. Everything is fine. Um, that's in Valheim, by the way. Emmy, hello. Welcome. Um, but yeah, more vampire tonight. I vaguely remember that we well, let me just went head first into her litter box she's fine um i vaguely remember that we uh yeah no i actually fell off of a boat um this happened just like 20 minutes ago it's fine no. <laughs> in real life i fell off a boat trying to think of this fucking game. I'm just distracted by boats now. Um, Dorothea! Nurse Dorothea no longer works at Pembroke. But, she's got that cool clinic in Whitechapel? Is that right? Whatever, we've made a deal with her. She's gonna stop blackmailing what's-her-butt lady. Um, and gonna, but gonna be able to continue her little, her little side hustle there. Because she's helping folks, and we like that. What else? Hold on, I'm gonna go ahead and burp a ton. My god. <laughs> um. Look. I'm sorry that no one is on when I'm on. I will gladly go on a boat ride with everyone, but no one's- no one's around! I will gladly go on a boat ride with everyone! Don't yell at me! <laughs> then come with me! When are you getting on Valheim? <laughs> you can't go with me if you're not there! I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna- I'm not- I'm not gonna bridge across the fucking ocean. What were we doing? Yeah, Vampy! <laughs> um... Dorothea has her clinic. We ran into Daddy Vampire, and he didn't really answer any questions for us, but it made it sound like we had some great porpoise. Um, sorry, I had to get some chapstick on. Um, we went to our sister's funeral. That was sad. We talked to Lady Vampire at Pembroke about 
daddy vampire, and she got all spooked about that. There's a big sewer man in here. There he is. I think he's like a level 22, so I don't want to deal with him at all. What are we doing now? Set to the East End, find Sean Hampton. We are looking for Sean Hampton because he killed Harriet Jones. Um, <gasps> a quick shrimp check. Thank you. How are you doing, Lucas? I know you're. I know you said you're stopping in for a real, a real quick one. Totally cool. Understandable. Shrimp check, everyone. This is my weird. <laughs> okay, good. You can't see my full pose. <laughs> When I shrimp check, I put my arms up and then back so I can stretch my shoulders up and back to correct my posture. Sometimes I just sit like that for a little bit to stretch my dang back. It's locked. <laughs> it's good stretch advice. Fun fact, that's one that my physical therapist gave me um, when I was going in for uh, how terrible my back pain is. Yeah, you put your arms up. Like, here, let me scoot back a little bit so you can see this whole, this whole dang thing. And also get, you get to check out my awesome serial killer shirt. So up like this, you can do fists or open hands, it doesn't matter. Roll your shoulders back so that you're kind of pushing your chest up and your shoulders backwards. And then you can just sit like that for a little bit. It helps uh, loosen up the muscles around the underside of your shoulder blades. And also helps correct your posture. And once you're done, you just relax your shoulders, and you're good to go. <laughs> right? It feels good, right? Um, I like that one. It also helps, like, open up your chest, which is great. Pull on those, those pectorals a little bit. Just a good one to do. Um, I got- I'm full of- I'm full of good back and neck stretches. <laughs> um, no, that one- I like doing that one. It's also really easy to just do. You don't gotta think about it. Um, which is nice. <laughs> Very wise in the ways of stretching. I've been to a lot of physical therapy. <laughs> don't be like me. But also, maybe do some stretches like me. <laughs> um, yeah. Another good one that's just very easy and very simple to do, and you can kind of just, you know, do whatever, is to lift one arm across your face, either on your cheek or, like, at the base of your neck, and then just slowly... Oh my god, headphones. My headphones are yelling at me. You just do this and kind of encourage your neck over. So you get this nice big stretch in here, and then you also get a little bit of a stretch in here. And you don't have to pull, you just kind of like rest your arm there so that the weight of your arm helps encourage your neck uh, to just get a nice little stretch in there. That one's good too. <laughs> and then you obviously do it on the other side. I'm not going to, I'm just gonna stretch the one side. Do as I say, not as I do. Um, I like that one too. It's very good. Maybe one of these days I'll just have to, like, whip out every, uh, PT stretch that I've got for backs. And we can just stretch together for a little bit. <laughs> it's a good way to help, not resolve, but definitely address some of your neck pain. <laughs> Full of them. Full of stretchy advice. A yoga stream, dear god, I am so... I mean, yoga's not all about flexibility. We know this. However, goodness gracious, is my flexibility atrocious. Okay, look, buddy, I didn't hit you. Um... Oh, not the old time! Not the... Are, are you thinking, like, old-timey, or are you thinking, like, 80s aerobics? Let's do some Pilates! I need to heal. Sky! <laughs> we are playing a game called Vampire, spelled with a Y. 
I'm doing it very bad because it's been a minute and combat is weird. Um, we are a recently turned vampire living in the late 1910s. Um, we just got turned, but we were a doctor beforehand. So how do we manage to be a doctor in the vampire? Thinking 80s aerobics. We can do that. We can do that. That can happen. Oh my god, I'm dead. I am just barely alive. Okay. We are bad at being both a vampire and a doctor. I am not good at it at all. But that's okay. Because our sweet doctor boyfriend, back at Pembroke, loves us anyway. The game doesn't this want you to know. Has just been slaughtered by a vampire. Ooh. The body's still warm. Game doesn't want you to know that I'm gay for my doctor. Um, but it's there. It's there. There's a spark. He gave me. He look, look. He gave me these clothes. What is happening to my coat? What is happening to my coat in my leg? Coat is in my leg. Um, it's fine. Not even concerned. It is. It absolutely is. Tail as old as time. <laughs> All that stuff. Stop. Stop. Look, my guy. Can we not actually? I need to stop being so very bad at this. He is shooting farts. And we don't appreciate it, honestly. I am genuinely shocked that I haven't died yet. Um, <laughs> not the stings. What he needs to do is is shoot that farty stuff and then yeet a blanket over me. You know, get the full, like, got a, what is that? <laughs> what is that called? Dutch oven or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> Got goop on me. That's rude. But no, it's a really cool game. Um, very interesting uh, mechanics, I guess. Um, not only like they've got the combat aspect of things, but you do also have to like, if you want everyone to be healthy and happy and stuff, you gotta, you gotta give people medicine. You gotta talk to them. <laughs> and treat them um he tease he's kind of teasing that's fine it's fine hey sir um but yeah there's a lot of uh a lot of talking <laughs> but trying to figure out like what's going on and like addressing people's issues um, or problems that they're having. It's really cool. I like it. Uh, I think last time we found out it's the same dev team that did Life is Strange. Is that right? Am I thinking of the right game? Um, so the, like, interpersonal stuff is very well done and very interesting. Uh, their first real foray into combat, and it shows... It's not awful. Uh, I think we've all agreed that it's probably better on controller, but I refuse to uh, change. And I'm using a mouse and keyboard. I am getting used to it. Obviously. I haven't died yet. Knock on wood. Get got! Ow. Ow. We're getting used to it though um yeah talking parts real good combat a little messy but not the worst combat that i have uh i've experienced so it still still gets points for me all right let's go where can i go is the real question 
That's totally good. Get that homework done. I should have done that today, but here we are. Um, props to you for being a responsible student. <laughs> but thanks for popping in and saying, hey, we appreciate the lurk. It's always lovely to talk to you. Um, don't call me a vermin. All right, sir. Can I please won't let me pick up his, his junk. I'm not allowed to pick up his junk. Oh, goodness. Okay. We... I would love to find a safe house so we can level up, but on the flip side, we don't have... We don't have a ton of experience. I would like more experience so I can find a safe house and level up. Preferably. Although, I think we've gathered a lot of supplies recently, so we could probably level up our gear, right? Um, I also keep forgetting why we're here, and then I keep remembering, and then I keep forgetting. So that's really fun. Open it! This one of them vermin! Sir. No! I didn't want to fall! Die, vermin! Did you also fall? Oh God. Don't do that. Don't do that. I could also probably try different weapons. But our axe has been doing pretty all right, all things considered. Um, like, we've been leveling it up with us. Our trusty axe. I'm a fan of it. Um, I did see this door dead inside. <laughs> Don't dead door inside. Um, yeah, they all seem fairly similar. I don't think it's that big of a deal to, like, uh, switch them out. It's got the best number with the quickest, uh, speed, like, attack speed. So I'm happy with it. Just thinking about Bloodstained a lot and being like, mm, cool weapons! And then remembering that this is not Bloodstained. I missed that game already. We just played it this morning, and I want to play more. Oh, hi! Hello! Hello! Whoa, whoa, where are you going? Where are you going? Where do you think you're going? Why did you stop? Oh my god. Okay, okay. Stop, stop, stop with the faith thing! I am stuck in the corner, and I cannot get out! I don't like it when they stop. Uh, doing the thing. Targeting. Can you come on? I literally can't get out of here. Fuck off, man. Jesus Christ. Fuck off! My guy! It's fine. Yeah, no, I'm loving Bloodstained, honestly. It's it's very difficult to not play it off stream because I'm like, what if I just well what if I just wander around and level up a little bit and I know that I won't stop at that. <laughs> so we just gotta um So we just gotta wait. I just gotta wait. I don't like waiting. I don't like it. Oh, also, 
I made the announcement on uh, Discord, but need to make the announcement on Twitter and stuff, but I'll also say it here. Uh, officially, we will be doing our Friday stream at 4 p.m. Central. Uh, I need to update Twitch on it. But that is when we will start uh, our long stream for Made of Skur. I am very excited to play that game again. Um, I was looking at it just to make sure that I actually had it downloaded. Um, that's two hours early. That is correct. I might start an hour earlier than that, if I'm feeling like it, but no, for sure. <laughs> I can't say that, because if I do, then it'll be bad. Uh, yeah, no, two hours early than our normal, our normal thing. I don't imagine it'll take us more than six hours to get through the game, especially since I have played through it before. Um, but we're gonna, we're just gonna go. We're gonna do the game thing. It's gonna be great. Not entirely sure how I managed to dodge that, but I did. Um. Yeah. Time is nonsense, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I mean, time is nonsense everywhere. Let's be real. Time doesn't make any dang sense. And we hate it? Nope. Ouch. 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 I just want blood. Oh. <laughs> Gotta think about time zones all the time now. All the time. Constantly? Kinda sucks. Fucking hell. Bruh. Um. You know, I genuinely. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad I kind of know time zones now. Because look at all the people we can hang out with and stuff. But. At the same time. Good God. Why have we made time so difficult for all of us to understand? <laughs> There has to be a better way. There has to be. Hi, stinky man. I didn't want to do it at him. Stop with your stinky! Stop! No! I want you all to die! Boy, howdy! Stop. Okay. Um. I remember having to deal with, like, time zones a lot in high school. Because I had a lot of European friends at that point in my life. And that was an odd time. <laughs> but it's fine. And then I completely just yeeted all of that information out of my brain so I didn't ever have to think about it ever again. Um, I'm just like, all right. But I hate, I hate thinking about time. No, I didn't mean to. Oh my god. Okay. I absolutely hate it when they're just a little out of range. Cause it's like I should have hit. All the very important things have been picked up, but I still need to go back and grab all these. <laughs> it's not, the, I mean, it is, but it's not. I feel so bad for literally all of us. <laughs> We've all just attuned our, our insomniac schedules to fit each other. It's adorable. <laughs> Bro, come on. I didn't mean to. What? Why did he resist? Okay, there we go. What advantage to being an insomniac, right, though? 
It's also nice, though, because then we can all encourage each other to get sleep when we need to. But we also all understand the plight of just being perpetually exhausted. Okay. <laughs> Play Bell, I'm an American. Sorry. Uh, we love it, though. I'm here for it. Anything to get you to play Valheim with me. Or just games in general. Just play games with me, please. So Val Valheim after stream, right? <laughs> nah, it's great. We've we found a very lovely little community um, of folks who are extremely understanding and compassionate and empathetic, and I adore that. <laughs> it's been a it's been a good year I mean it's been a shit year but it's been a good year it's been a good shit year <laughs> we all get you You understand you know what I mean Best hi sweet so is the red what they're susceptible to no he is strong against blood attacks red is strong against Orange is kind of strong against. Yellow is weak. I remember. Okay. Um, I'm gonna save all of my sappy conversations for Friday. Telling you guys how great you are. Just know that you're great. Basically. Um. Oh, sorry. I have like a hair or an eyelash or something threatening to fall into my eye and I keep trying to get rid of it and it keeps not going away. So I'm just gonna keep messing with my face. I'm also excited for Sappy Friday. It's just gonna be- I can't- I can't say I'm gonna cry. Um, because weird things make me cry. But I'll definitely be super emotional about things. It's gonna be good. All right, what's this dang note say? Um, guard of the pre-wind command post to dock patrols. Object vampire hunter fraud avoid. <laughs> Just because you said it doesn't mean it's gonna happen, friend. It might. It might though. I don't know. It feels like it's already gonna be a weird emotional week. So it's fine. It's okay to cry. Uh, some of our scouts recently spotted the presence of a certain Ichabod Throgmorton uh, near the East End docks. I forgot about Ichabod Throgmorton. How could I forget about Ichabod Throgmorton and that good, good, powerful name? Uh, you'll probably see him patrolling the place at night, claiming that he's a specialist of vampire extermination. The man is a fraud. Not even a real common... Um, for he does not charge anybody for the work, but he clearly has no clue. Uh, oh, not even a con man. Sorry, there were too many bumpy letters in there. Um, get the Viscera Cleanup game. Do it. Also, play games with me always. <laughs> Please. Please and thank you. <laughs> I love it. Um... I mean, yeah? I mean, yeah? Yes, please? Yeah? <laughs> I am sorry I did it so bad and bought Resi 5 for, uh, for the PC. But if you can get it to work, <laughs> let's go. Um, alright, where was I? The man is a friend, not even a real con man. Uh, for he does not charge anybody for the work, but he clearly has no clue what he's talking about. If he ever approaches you for some jointed, uh, joined hunt or collaboration, refuse and let him go. In a leech fight, the man is nothing more than bait. Wow. Wow. Sorry, hold on, my glasses are filthy. Because I am a grease ball, which means my glasses get gross all of the time. Which, I think I have a an eye appointment coming up next month. Um, and I think 
And after I check my prescription, I might get new glasses. Even if my prescription has stayed the same. I like these ones. But I really miss my, uh... My circular black... Uh, frames from before. I'm practicing yelling, Chris, this way, over here, Chris, for the past six months. <laughs> That's okay, I've got the shove up, shove up, come here, shove up, down almost to a T, almost. Can't, can't quite get the powerful tone that, that Chris has, but, uh, it's fine. <laughs> Where are we going this way? This boulder punch an asshole. I need to replay Village again. I've already played through it like five times. I speed ran it. Um, got through it in two hours. It was great. I don't trust being down here, but... But I want to play it again. It was really good. Really enjoyed that game. Uh, we also gotta, like, I wanna revisit and play uh, some of the other Resident Evils on the channel at some point, just finding the time. That'll probably be the next thing that we do uh, for a weekday game after Vampire. So it was like halfway between Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil 4 and it slaps. Oh, absolutely. I loved how open everything was. It definitely gave me more more Resident Evil 4 vibes, which was fantastic. I did not hate it at all. All right, what's this? Dear Lord, this is my prayer for my beloved mother, Gertrude Paxton, who now awaits her daughters in heaven. Until that day, I thank you for allowing me to wake up and go through each day or each new day in honest poverty and modesty. Please protect the good Mr. Hampton, who let us sleep in his uh, night shelter. Humbly ask you to forgive me for the resentment I feel toward my sister, uh, Giselle, since mother died. Blessed, blessed be her soul. Thank you, God, for hearing me. Amen. Honey, Lottie. I don't, don't know how to bring this to you, um, but, but, <laughs> uh, where are we? Oh, this, okay, again, I keep forgetting what we're doing and why we're here. This is Sean's little little place for folks, right? This is where he helps people? Because he was such a nice guy? Are there- wait, where are- <laughs> My- My dumbass only just noticed all of the blood on the floor. Are you Lottie? Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Can I help you? A fancy doctor lurking at night by the docks. <laughs> Not fishy at all. And what Not about at all. You working outside I also dangerous part of town. You want to know my secret? I'm trying to earn money. And I'm Lottie Paxton, by the way. I really want to play so maybe we won't do Resident Evil next. I really want to do um The Sinking City. I want to revisit that game. A lot. So maybe that's what we'll do next. Is it not dangerous? After Vampire. As long as I have good legs, I can run away from trouble. The sad saint now provides me and my sister a bed and a roof. I don't want to lose that. Are you homeless, Miss Paxton? Mr. Hampton's night asylum is our new home. Oh my god, now. sorry. It's a safe place for me and my sister. <laughs> you shouldn't have, it was what so can good! You tell me about the sad saint? I know a lot of people didn't like Sean it. Hampton, the sad saint of the um, East End. Or I guess I should say shelter. had complaints about it. Always sad. It was buggy as fuck. It was buggy as fuck, but I found that extremely endearing. Um the uh 
the mechanics for like searching for clues and stuff I thought was really cool. Um, I don't think I didn't like the combat, but I didn't hate it. Uh, it worked. It was fine. It was what a really interesting game, this? though, and I really liked Come it. <laughs> it may be okay for a strong girl like me, but a dandy doctor from the city like yourself, you better watch your back, Mr. Reed. Ma'am, I can handle myself. Thank you. You really think I should go back to a safer place, miss? No. I think you had better stay and help as many people as you can. Just avoid the wet boot boys. Those bastards are worse than the epidemic. I forgot they were called the wet boot boys. Which local dangers must I avoid? Well, the gangs, <laughs> Excuse me. the thieves, the drunks, <laughs> the jobless. A man with your fancy clothes will attract a lot of attention. Well, well, I am it. not someone so easily intimidated. Glad to hear that. The wet and bandits. And if you get into trouble, you can always seek help at Sean Hampton shelter. Not no the wet boot boys. Violated. Um, I am trying to be better about listening to what these people are telling me. It's hard sometimes, though. Okay, about Blotty, the death of your mother. Tell me about the death of your mother. Giselle killed her, plain and simple. She killed her with her daily whims, her laziness, oh. and her complaints. That's quite a statement. Jesus Christ! You kill someone because you're fickle. Mother was very ill. Sorry. But I forgave Giselle. Sudden rain. What I couldn't Surprise rain and thunder. Funeral, like she was the one left alone. <gasps> I love it. Okay, so hold on. Giselle killed mom, but didn't... Didn't actually physically kill her just killed her by being a leech god i don't know anyone like that Oops. perhaps your sister is not as tough as you are i know that and i don't blame her it just makes me sad that my own sister is the person i understand the least giselle is the only family so rainy. don't you think it's time you forgave her sometimes oh sorry hold on Okay. Words are harder to forgive than acts, Dr. Reed. Nope, that's valid. Both? I like both. Um. Can you hear that? I know the game has. Oh, sad. It's very loud. Um, no, I love, I just love storms. <laughs> I like, I like being around and listening to them happen. I like being out in them. I mean, obviously, like, within reason. If it's, like, dangerous, I don't want to be outside. Um, but, like, spring and fall are some of my favorite times. Um... Just because, like, I mean, A, it's cooler at that point, but especially, like, during storms, I love going out for walks. We had, um, we have a nature trail a couple miles from here. Well, I guess it's probably about, like, 10 or 15 miles away from my house, but it's a super short drive there. Um, and, like, the trees, like, act as a canopy, and it's just lovely over there, especially during the rainy season. And I like, I like going for walks. Uh, during that time. Yes! Ah, oh, Storm here! Sorry, I... Mm. Hmm. <laughs> I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you I love him? storms. Hampton must be in his office at the night asylum. So night, much. Why do you want to see him? He was a patient of mine at the Pembroke Hospital. But he Storm left here. Abruptly. Where it's like, it's well, not... Mr. Hampton I know a lot of people... Dedicated man. I'm sure you'll find well, I'm him soon to enough. Listen to what this woman says. I know that like people tend to describe it as like electric, but I don't necessarily think that's right. But it's just like the air feels heavier, like it feels denser, and like obviously there's like more moisture in the air, and so it feels like wet. But just the <sighs> yeah, yeah. Do you have thunder where you are right now, Travis? Because it's like. It's storming like a motherfucker outside right now, and it just has me all excited. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. 
I fucking love storms. They make me very happy. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Jonathan Lee. <laughs> May I have your attention? Eee. Good evening, eee. sir. Oh, this is Giselle. Name is Giselle Paxton. But I don't have time for men like you. Have we met before? No. But I just need to look at your fancy clothes to know that you must be desperate to visit the docks at night. That's quite judgmental. Sir, I've led enough strikes when I had a job to identify you as an enemy of the working class. Valid, though. Um, God, yeah, I, no, I love storms. They're like some of the only times that I like actually sleep like really well is if there's like a storm happening um, like all night. I will just be out the entire time. It's just very good. I'm killing myself scraping for a living. And <laughs> love you? storms. Fucking Have love storms. Have you ever had to struggle in your entire life? As I told you, I'm a doctor. You have to work a lot to earn um. Oh, a doctor. Born with money in a nice house, were we? Was Daddy a banker or a doctor himself? Ma'am. Why such hatred? Are you judging me by my clothes and my job? Of course I am. Fuck, you're so blind. You don't even see <gasps> your privilege. Yeah, you Ladies tell him. People like you disgust me. <laughs> Oh, I fucking love storms. Oh, I love storms. I mean, I also, I like, I do understand um, the perspective from some people of like why what storms freak them out. Like, I get it. Tell you what. Um, spend a few. Weeks theoretically, I understand it. Question again. But I don't know. There's something about it's storms that just like. I love them. <laughs> if you have something to say, I find say them it. extremely comforting. I'm getting tired of all this. And oh, lovely. You want information instead. Well, here's some for you. Giselle Paxton does not like you at all, Doctor. This ma'am. This ma'am. Um. <sighs> yeah. You don't know me. Storms are great. Paxton, and yet you see me as an enemy. Oh, right, no, and I totally understand that. They're loud, like, <laughs> thunder is loud and sudden and spooky. And as somebody I'm whose house and you regularly gets hit by, th by lightning, I get it. It's it can be scary sometimes, which is why I'm like, I know that, like, I like storms within reason. We get, especially out here in the Midwest, uh, our storms can get out of hand very, very quickly, um, and can be dangerous. And obviously at that point it stops being a, a joyous occasion for me and more of a, ooh, we gotta make sure that everything is okay. But, <laughs> fucking love storms. <laughs> Absolutely. The second you hear the tornado sirens, you go out to your porch or out into the front yard and you look around. Gotta, gotta watch that tornado come in. <laughs> You're right. I have never suffered from poverty. And it's not until but that tornado is right on top of you that maybe you go into the basement. I really doubt you ever had to fight for anything in your <laughs> life, Dr. Reed. People are wild out here. I remember the first time, uh, the first time that I had a tornado warning happen around me um when we moved out here because for like the majority of my life like the first part of my life at that point like i had lived in southern california there was fucking nothing out there we occasionally got rain that was it i mean when we were living in the mountains we'd get snow but it like it wasn't anything. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't terrible. But, like, when we moved out here, like, after... Because <laughs> we lived in... We lived in Mexico for nine months at that point. Um, like, just prior to moving out here. Before that, I was living in Huntington Beach. And so, it's just... You know, beach weather all the time. All year round. And then I get out here, and it's, you know, like, Halloween time or whatever. We're all at the park... Uh, doing some, like, trunk or treat nonsense or whatever, and then all of a sudden we get, like, we can hear the sirens going off, and we're trying to figure out where to go, and I end up having, like, a full-blown anxiety attack, because I'm like, oh my god, we're all gonna die. Giselle, and it was fine. You sleep at Sean Hampton's shelter. <laughs> what can you tell me about him? I think at that point, like, we had a tornado touchdown, like, a few miles away from where we were, which did not help my response to the entire thing because I was like, oh my god, we're gonna die. Like about to cry. Now I'm just like, meh, it's fine. Where are the cats? To get closer to God. How close is the tornado? Do we gotta do anything? 
Yeah, it's usually fine until it's not. <laughs> I think the most that we do now, um, when, like, when we hear that, like, a tornado is, is forming, is kind of get a, get an idea of where the tornado is, and then just kind of locate all the cats in the house and just prepare to scoop them up if we gotta. And that's about it. <laughs> Turn off all the the electronics if uh, trade union activism. You if the weather's too bad outside. Because well, I, I live in an old fucking house Nowadays, and I wouldn't I'm just wouldn't be surprised if it just blew up. The big companies. You know. Okay. Um. You lost your job because of your beliefs. It's Those fine. really hate a worker who refuses slave wages and unsafe conditions. Yeah, you tell them. Especially em. when it's a woman. Yeah, you fucking tell them. I like Giselle. <laughs> Isn't the whole point of trade unions to help workers in need? Oh wait, is she anti-union? Wait, is she anti-union? I lost the money my companions had asked me to hide. With me and my sister being penniless, they thought I. I get the candles and work games out. I mean, I always have the candles out anyway. Strange men saw me count the money in that bar. Some sort of militia in uniform. I'm sure they robbed. <laughs> I mean, I think usually, usually when the power goes out, honestly, I just kind of, if it's, if it's still light out outside, I'll just sit around and read a book. Um, I'll do the same thing, like, even if it's not light out, as long as I've got a candle, but usually I'll just be like, all right, time to find kitty cat and snuggle him for a few hours until the power comes back. <laughs> Hi friends. Hi Dougie. Thanks for thanks for the lurk. I appreciate it. Go vote. Do your thing. Giselle. Proud tell of you. Me about the <laughs> After our father died, <laughs> mother worked so hard she made herself sick. We spent all Aww. the money we had on useless drugs and doctors. It was hell. Hell. We love you for what do you mean? We love the you, Dougie. Were Sorry, I was reading Fruity's name. Desperate. Trying to say Dougie at the same and time. It didn't work. I, tend to get angry. I do love you too, Fruity, I'm but hard to live with. you know. Lottie said I killed Mother. Oof. You should talk to your sister. <laughs> Whatever happened when your mother died, the truth lies somewhere between your two versions. I don't want to talk about that. It was years ago. We Paxton sisters are tough. We don't apologize. Did I fuck that up? I think I fucked that up. You did. You stole Dougie's love. How I'm looking you? for Sean Hampton. <laughs> <laughs> what is it you want? Does he owe you money? <laughs> Has he displeased your royal highness? Oh, I'm no snitch, Mr. Fancy Pants. Well, I'll leave you for now. Goodbye, Miss Paxton. Ma'am. Okay, Giselle has me all sorts of confused. I thought she was a cool lady, but then it sounded like she was anti-union, which... <laughs> mm. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we need to find Sean. Sean! Mr. Hampton! Excuse me while I rob you first. Okay. Why the long face, Doctor? <laughs> you should play. Uh, you should play board games more often. Sorry, I am concerned about how he looks. got red on you it looks like we both have changed a lot i must confess Healthy. it saddens me Healthy. put your faith in the lord doctor he has a plan for all of us we may not always see it but he does since you sean, left sean, Pembroke, sean the amount of blood that has been sean. shed it's hard oh, what a shiny sean, ask what you will as the lord is my shepherd i will not speak a lie to you Aren't you afraid of what you've become? We are blessed, Doctor. Can't you see it? The Lord has made us able to walk amongst the plague and aid those that need it. 
Sean, you don't look great! Do you think oh, this boy. is a blessing when God's own house and holy symbols repel you? If that is your burden, Doctor, so be it. But I do not fear the cross, nor am I forced to take the life of another. My kind doesn't share your imperfections. Oh, shots you fired! Must now to survive. No, not your scripture. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. So saith the Lord. I only need to eat flesh, no blood. That doesn't necessarily make it better. Why return here? This is my home. These people are my flock. You will always find me where I am needed. You are go you are going to murder these people. Wonders never cease. Scowl managing an asylum. And what of you? A vampire doctor. Meals laid out before you. Yet you restrain. I mean he's a he's a ghoul, which I mean that tracks. Track uh ghouls ghouls eat flesh. They're more akin to like what people would refer to as like zombies without being a zombie. And what about William? I'm Bishop? just concerned for he these tried people. To take care of you, but this hunger, this thirst, cannot be restrained. Alas, poor William. He had a good soul, but was weak in spirit. He could not shake the thirst for booze. Oh, him being a religious ghoul. Blood. Okay, yeah, no, that's but fair. Faith, my will is far stronger than his. I'm still just extremely concerned. <laughs> Why did you kill Miss Jones at the Pembroke Hospital? Killed old Harriet? You must be mad, Doctor. Why would I do such a thing? So you claim Miss Jones' death was not by your hand, nor the other incidents at Pembroke? Though Harriet was an angry, spiteful woman, she was one of God's creatures. I... I have nothing but love for all he has made. We'll gladly look into it. But you were close to her. Of course. But she was lost. Separated from the fold. She did not see the hand of the divine in my blessed condition. I'm trying to remember what everyone at Pembroke said. And I don't remember if... If anyone actively saw Sean attack Harriet, I know that there was, I think there was some confusion as to when he ran away, but I don't remember if anyone said they, like, they actually saw Sean attack Harriet. People have been murdered. I've seen the blood. I don't believe you can be trusted. Have a little faith, Doctor. If you will follow, I will guide you to the light. How do you plan to do that? Take this key of the old sewers. The entrance is by the riverbank, south from here. There you'll find all the proof you need. Very well. You have definitely intrigued me. I hope you're right, Sean. Mm. We'll be here when you return. If you still think I'm a trap then, well, I'll surrender myself to your judgment. I am concerned. Folded paper. Uh, forgive me, God, for what I am about to confess. Sometimes I wish I never saved Dyson Delaney from drowning when he fell in the can uh, canal. There, I said it. Please forgive me, Lord, for I am just for I'm just a sinner. Dyson may be the most for uh, frustrating case I ever had to deal with since I opened my night shelter in the East End. For years, I have tried to understand why this man regularly makes me so irritated, and I think I recently found why. Dyson has stopped fighting, for good and forever. I've met so many heavy drinkers in my life, men and women, rich and poor, young and old. I've witnessed their fight with their demons, their past, their guilt, and their failures. Sometimes they can put a name on these inner, uh, on this inner evil of theirs. Sometimes they have never been able to identify the real cause of their despair. But in most cases, for these men and women, to drink is a way to keep fighting. Of course, it is a useless and destructive form of struggle, but at least the self-destruction means that something makes them suffer, and they still fight against this pain they feel so deep inside. Even a severe alcoholic like William Bishop keeps struggling with his addiction and asking for a salvation, for the light of Christ. And as long as they wish to see this light, there is a place for hope. Dyson Delaney has no hope left. 
does not drink to smother his pain. No. I'm now convinced he conscientiously drinks for the sadist, in, uh, sadist joy of smothering all hope. I really don't know what is a uh, worse sin, to deliberately cast away hope from your own heart or complacently bask in self-destruction. Hope? Okay, um... Sewer was out this way, right? I hope they will return to the shadows the epidemic has passed. Ichabod? Good evening, Mr. Throckmorton. Ichabod! Can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Other than you? No? You got anything new to say? You're a fraud. You've never faced, let alone killed, a vampire, Ichabod. You're a fraud. No, I'm not. I may embellish the truth concerning my achievements, but I'm totally dedicated to my quest. You have courage, Mr. Throgmorton. Perhaps that is all one requires to face the demons. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You'll Dr. see. Dr. Reed! One day I'll find and kill one of these monstrosities with my own two hands. Oh! Hit lost. Oh well. Okay. Goodbye. And good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton. Okay. Uh. I mean, he does. It's true. I wasn't planning on eating him. Not yet, at least. Turn around, sir. Nope, I'm good. Fucking hell. They're everywhere. They're safe for places to be. <laughs> Can I just not? Maybe. I need blood! I need blood! Stop! Give me blood! I'm hungry! Okay. That's all I needed. That's all I needed! I just wanted to do a little nibble. This could be the public house Giselle Paxton mentioned. I should investigate further. Fucking hell. A lot happening up there. Um, I mean, I'm sure some of them open up like quests and stuff. Fuck. Get away from me. Stop! I'm behind a fucking wall, my guy! Hey! <laughs> 
hate this guy. I hate these enemies. So much. Fucking hell. Let's just go through. I'm done fighting this man. <laughs> Their attacks are so obnoxious. load hey game okay there you go there you go you did it are we gonna come across more sewer men big sewer dog but where It's locked. Door won't open from this side. Perfect. Lovely. Great. That's my favorite. That doesn't work. You don't work. So that's it. These wheels control the water level. Oh no. Do I? Hmm. Okay. So, assumably, we have to lower the water level. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, Allie. Oh, hi. How's it going? Oh, hey. <laughs> Oh, hi! Oops. Let me just fall off this ledge. Okay, but... Oop! Oop! How... Our boyfriend's back at the hospital. Not Throgmorton. Not Ichabod Throgmorton. Not Ichabod. Edgar Swansea. We're not in Bioshock. We are in the sewers because Sean Hampton, the kindly asylum owner. Asylum as in safe place, not as in a mental institution. Um... Killed Harriet Jones. We think he killed Harriet. Not Harriet Jones, Prime Minister, either. Um, and that then he's like, work. I didn't do it! Go to the sewers, take this key, find out what happened. You'll see. And I was like... Okay, so now we're in the sewers. And I knew, I knew, I, I knew you were gonna ask! <laughs> I just knew it. Okay, can I open this and- Oh! Oh, wait, no, I see. I understand. Aha! That gate should shut properly now. Ha 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 ha! What's up here, though? Who knows? We're not allowed to find out. We can't go up there. Um... Okay, so close that. Close that. Water. Can I hit the button? Oh, 
we are only gone and done it! Okay, um... Gross. Now we can go in here. There's some goopy boys here. Goopy boy! Went and did a poof. Keep out! Lots of dead bodies around. Always a great sign. <laughs> Sewer level indeed. Not the... Not the cube. I'm mostly concerned that we're gonna run into a sewer dog. Um, but I'm not looking forward to that. Those boys are tough. And fast, and they take up a lot of space. Okay, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't Sean. I'm gonna do a chomp. I can't believe I'm doing this. Not meat cat. Not meaty blood cat. I don't know. They were obnoxious, but they went down pretty fast. I think I would rather take meat cat over uh over sewer dog. Almost any day, this honestly. Alright, what we got going on? Let's go. Why are you, what are you doing? Oh, it's big boy. Okay, but he was kind of an asshole to us. So like, I think we should just leave him be. Smush. Smush. Squish. Smush. Squish. Squish. Smush. Smush! Or I'll crush you like a maggot. Smush! That wasn't you nearly as satisfying. Consume. Finally, a touch of lucidity. Fergal! Respect the laws of Ascalon. Okay, hold on. Fergal, I'm gonna need you to wait a second, okay, buddy? Um, because I gotta... Get rid of that. We'll replace it with the gun. Mm. How are you gonna comprehend? Stop. Hit him with a mistake. Wow! He has a lot of dang health. Ooh, okay, blood attacks do a lot. We got this. It's not so fun when somebody else bites you, is it? <laughs> Sir. <laughs> oh, that does two shots. That's weird. Wailing on me, man. Just 
some bullshit. Also, is not doing what it needs to. I should tear the apart and smell my blood to the pissing wells. Can you stop with the shadow bullshit, please? I shall crush you. I don't know where he's gone. Down, stay down. <laughs> I'm gonna die. No! Well, we know what to do. That's frustrating. Damn. Okay. Fine. We know how to handle this, though. <laughs> I was... I was in it. I was... Uh, I was doing so good! <laughs> like, for being fucked over... As far as, um, <laughs> health was concerned, we did really okay. I need to find some rats before we hop down there. I hear them. There they are. Ah! Despicable. Okay, stop talking, Jonathan. Look, we know it's not great, but we need the blood. I'm doing this. Okay, but we need the blood, buddy. I have this thirst for blood. Is there any more? There's one. Come here, buddy. I can't believe I'm doing this. Alright, we're nearly full. That's great. Those blood attacks. Very good. Um Okay, we've got the shotgun equipped. Let's. I can't believe you've done this. I can. Let's start with the shotgun. To respect the laws oh, of hi. Because I think having the quicker shots for the later stage would be better. singing your name okay so that's all of my bullets for my shotgun let's change that out for hold on is that that's 56 damage that's 40 let's go with the common revolver Ooh, ooh! i didn't mean to fully back out of that also i've got more stupid icons on there so let's Ducked. 
Okay, I don't like that all of my health items from before are gone. Stay down. Where is he? Your lord is now mine. How are you gonna comprehend? Go ahead and do a chomp. Shadows could stop doing a stomp on me, that would be great. We did it. Eat shit. <laughs> figured he was going to be a bigger an uh, antagonist than that, <laughs> but okay. I... Um... Still gotta explore the sewers. Fantastic. The door has been unlocked. Cool. What about this other door? It's locked will not open from this side. All right, good to know. I think that's all the doors? What is this shiny thing? I almost missed some common trigger parts. I'm trying to be sneaky, it's not working. Also, hold on a second. I need some man juice. Gotta get me some water. Um, oh, what's this? At least one skull escaped Fergal's wrath. Man Juice. Man Juice is here to say hello. And by that I mean blankly stare at you. Um. Ooh. The poor creature is bleeding to death. He cannot be far. Time to time to do a blood transfusion! what we're known for he went up that way and that's the way that they want me to go i think oh but he could have gone this way too let's go up here time to explore we gonna go ahead and do a heal didn't do nearly as much as I would have liked. But hey. Um. <laughs> Hello? I'm trying to, I'm trying to. Safe we are. Old Bridget, drink now. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Bridget. This isn't the blood of a vampire, but it will quench your thirst. This is our domain, not yours. Oh, hi, ma'am. You've been warned. Wait, I saved you from this creature. That must count for something. Thank you. Now go. Go back to the streets and houses. There is no love lost between us, vampire. I like her Thank outfit. Sean Hampton sent me here. I believe he wanted me to find you. Who are you? If you must know, they call me Old Bridget. And this shelter is where we live. I'm Jonathan Reed. I'm a newborn Egon. I'm afraid I'm not sure what's going on. I shall not bend a knee, young Ekon, but I sense your pain. Ask, 
and I will afford you my attention. I was gonna say, I don't want you to... <laughs> I don't want you to bend in me or anything. I'm just Why letting you know I have no idea what the it. fuck is happening. <laughs> Fergal is the blunt instrument of the Ascalon Club. His masters would see us dead or turned into slaves if they had their way. What is... What is Fergal? What the hell was that thing? <laughs> he wasn't an Ekon or a Skull. They are known as Volkhod, an ancient offshoot of immortals. Blood drives them, enrages them. Uh, what's the Ascalon Club? What of this Ascalon Club? Vampire societies elite in the Empire. They make the rules and enforce their judgment upon us whom they see as lessers. Okay. Uh... So is it you that Sean Hampton sent me to find? Perhaps. The sad saint was always kind to us. He must trust you if he reveals our location. Oh, dang! Sean is a skull. All those I've encountered have been violent, crazed creatures. How can he be any different? It's not the greatest way to Maybe approach that situation. Maybe the sad saint. Or perhaps because I am old Bridget of the sewer skulls. Sean killed a patient of mine. And that's just no, one Jonathan. Of the he's being hunted for. If you refer to Harriet, she is now among us and under our protection. Harriet Jones is alive. That's it. That's the proof Sean wanted me to find. I must talk to her. No, Harriet is not alive. But you can speak to her. Okay, look. I must as alive you, as you or I she are. Is fragile and may not receive you warmly. I don't understand. She is M? filled with bile and hate. M. Her mind is sharp as a tack, but her body is so weak. I've never seen its like before. She is resting in a room on the far right of this hideout. Thank you. I will bear that in mind. Bear with me. Who's crying up here? Eternal gratitude for your protection, Master. Yeah, anytime, bud. Don't you don't gotta you don't gotta call me master though, okay? I'm just your buddy. Hey, um, I know you're reading a book. I am stealing your coin though. Assuming I can highlight it. Bridget says you are one to trust. Aww. Keep your distance, Akon. Okay, well, apparently not everyone is happy with me being here. Ascalon has stalked us for ages upon ages. This is a heck of an asylum. Um, sanctuary? Probably better. I mean, it's fine. Um... Damn, y'all live like this? Eternal gratitude. It's also weird not being able to, like, properly talk to all these folks. Which, I mean, I understand. Because it's not like I could heal them. But even so... Uh, it is no coincidence that Ekons are the most eminent and most numerous of all vampires. Ekons are the true uh, aristocracy of immortals, and, if I may add, they are the only ones able to stay at the top of the food chain. Everywhere I traveled, I only met Ekons, assuming mortal lives or forming an immortal society. Ekons are the most human, most clever, and most educated of all vampires. Don't get me wrong here. I have nothing against more exotic species like Vulcond, or Vulcod, who share the gift of immortality with us. Most of them can prove useful if properly, uh, canalized toward a clear goal. Um, but they lack the most important trait of all, the ability to mingle with mortals without being spotted. Therefore, the Ascalon Club should only accept Ekon of the highest lineage as member of its inner circle. Depending on circumstances, Volkods could be accepted as war dogs or hunting hounds as long as they obey their our laws. Luckily enough, these lesser cousins have a natural tendency to submit and obey their masters. From The Law of Ascalon by Lord Redgrave, Founder. 
Sorry, it's hard to read these sometimes because the text is so small and very close together. <laughs> All right, what's up, Harriet? Oh, oh, honey. Hello, Harriet. Do you recognize me? Hmm. Yes, you were from the Pembroke Hospital, the young doctor, so full of secrets. I have so many questions I need to ask you, Harriet. If you would. I love questions. As for the answers, you may not like them. Big ol' yikes. How do you feel? I can't see. I can't move. Oh, my, my body's burning. I feel as if I'm dying over and over again. I wish I could get a better angle on her, but... Have you tried to eat or drink something? People here tried to feed me, but I'm just not hungry. I don't have the strength. Does the pain ever stop? It is not pain I feel. It's like I can't stop feeling every inch of my body. But at the same time, each muscle and bone is the wrong place. Oof. Um. Your room, the blood. What brought you to fake your death in such a gruesome fashion? To see if I would be mourned. <laughs> Sorry. Why with Sean Hampton. Oh, it's always a Period. You were so miserable and just terrible to Stupid everyone. Do you take pleasure not... in causing so much pain and sorrow? Nobody gave a damn about me. Not a tear shed. Poor Harriet. Always the discarded. I feel bad for her, but also, like, you were just a Why bitch to me? everyone. Why not? This is where I live now. Leave me be. Will you respect old Bridget's wishes? Will you obey her? Bridget is kind. She only needs to keep me fed and I'll be good. So you desire to stay here? Doesn't she look tired? Yes. I'm with my own kind. <laughs> Birds of a feather, so to speak. I just poor Harriet, always alone. Ugh. I have a question of the utmost importance to yeah, ask. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. Will you answer. I don't feel bad questions, for her. Questions, questions. The good doctor Sorry, always up. searching for answers. Shirts do you remember all what you did after leaving the up. hospital? <laughs> did you kill anyone? First, a question from me. <sighs> You answer first. Very well, then. What do you want to know? Are you like me? Are you also dead? We are not dead, Harriet. Death no longer pertains to us. We are different. I like what I am. I truly do. Oh, Harriet. I the pain that courses through me. I know you fled the hospital with Sean Hampton. Did you or Sean kill anyone in your flight? Anyone. Try and remember. I will not lie. I wanted blood and I wanted revenge and Sean pulled me from it. Brought me here instead. But the shadows heard my prayers. The shadows killed that bastard. You sought vengeance by your own hand, and someone else obliged you. Very convenient. Don't lie to me. I don't lie. I saw him near the docks, and rightly I wished him dead. And I am happy he is. It's true. But I didn't kill him. I was too tired. Who was that man? The one murdered in the street? He used to be my landlord. Oh, well, in that I case, you're totally fine. Many years before Just, falling in. it's fine. Oh, he was an awful man. Shit, girl, that's all he had to say. So cruel. Yeah, he's a fucking landlord. He's garbage. You're fine, Harriet. Tell me what you saw. 
The right? There's a lot of landlord death here, and I'm like, something in the deep. Oh, cool is it? Quick, deadly. It asked me if I wanted revenge. A lab. It's true though, honestly. And these shadows, this presence. For real though. Was it a vampire? Did Sean see it? It spoke only to me, and now it is silent. Born of hatred. Okay. Um. And it will kill again. And it hates you, Doctor. Oh, it hates you. What makes you say that? It, it whispered your name, Doctor Reed. It wanted to know who you were and where you went. Questions about me? What did you say? Nothing, Doctor. I said nothing. There was nothing it didn't already know. Oh, I'm tired now. Let me rest. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh. <laughs> hey, old Bridget, what's up? You found the answers you were looking for, young Ekon. There is too much left unanswered. So many questions. Get yeah, there's a lot that spend time with us, and I may be willing to answer we more questions. Why do you live here amongst the filth and vermin? Live here, we hide. What are you hiding from? From the guilt, the shame, from the hunters and the light, and of course, our past. Like, I understand why we're asking the questions we are, but I wish that Jonathan was a little uh, smarter about how he asked them. Why That's fine. I city? guess. I guess. Hide somewhere far from the guard of Prewan, the Ascalon Club. We are the Sewer Skulls. This is our domain. We have run as far as we can, and now we hide. Okay. Um... Your diction, your words. You do not carry yourself like most skulls I've encountered. True. I'm not like most skulls. Ooh. Sorry, the storm's kind of picking up. I'm just trying to determine, like, what's happening, because I'm seeing, like, flashes, like, really intense flashes outside. Okay. I'm gonna keep an eye on that. Um, depending on how the storm goes, I may have to end early. We will see. You were once someone else. What happened to you? It is as sad as it is long, young Ekon, but it will remain mine. Last thing I want to do is lose power um, in the middle of stream. But if it happens, if things cut out suddenly, that's what's going on. I don't no, think I'm it's going to be an issue. I haven't seen my my actual lights flicker, but reveal to no one our secrets. Do not betray us. That storm outside is very, very angry. For how long have you been in hiding here? Skulls have been hiding under London since vampires first entered the city. Where did you hide before the sewers? We claimed ancient tunnels, forgotten caverns, catacombs. We are skulls, groveling beneath the feet of our makers. Oh. What manner of creature is Harriet? She is different from everyone else. I really don't know. I'm not even certain she is a skull. I've no idea as to what blood made her. What is a skull, in fact, in your honest opinion? The progeny of a vampire, disavowed by her maker. Perhaps a fruitless branch of a noble tree. A word used to enslave us. I cannot say. You mentioned mm -hmm. that vampire blood has tremendous potency. You believe it to be stronger than your own. Oh, the vampire's sweet blood. That rich, dark wine that we crave. Mm. For it made Vampire us, but it can blood. sustain us. I thank you for your time, madam. 
I must go back to Sean Ham. I like old Bridget. Your kindness has been ample payment, Egon. To protect us, I'll close the access to our hideout, but you can use our shortcut to reach Mr. Hampton's shelter. Just follow the arrows. Okay. I like old Bridget. Thank you, old Bridget. She seems pretty dope. We'll meet again. I wish she and her buddies didn't have to live down here. I also have so much experience that I need to spend. Arrows. We're at your mercy. Will you end us? No. I look like a, a murderer to you? Don't don't answer that. <laughs> I'm not I'm not a bad guy. I'm just misunderstood. Oof. My goodness. Sorry, I'm super sleepy today. We're back on that not sleep and grind. Oh yeah. Alright. Where'd you go? Stop, 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 stop. Where are we? Thanks for the stuff, buddy. I need to remember to disassemble things the next time we are at a crafting table. A reminder to myself. It's locked, all right. But I want to unlock it. Welcome back, Dr. Reed. Hi. Would you like to take communion with me now? No, I'm good. Sean, are you eating raw flesh? It is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. Okay, Our who's... Lord's bountiful transmutation for the sustenance of his believers. Sean, whose flesh is it? That's the real question. Thank you, Lord. I am your most humble servant. So, true to your word, you waited for my return. I told you, Dr. Reed. I was a man to be trusted. Just the ambit. I mean, that's fine. Floor, Floor flesh is fine. This shelter is the tip of the iceberg. You hide your game well, I'll give you that. We are God's children, Dr. Reed. Hot pizza One of all. flesh. He's determined to save us. <laughs> um. Does this place belong to you? How can you be so certain you can keep it open? This warehouse was once property of the Dawson family, but has been bequeathed me through donation. Bequeathed. The Dawsons? The wealthiest family in London. Have they a clue as to what goes on here? Not at all. The donation was made before the war. The building was run down. I never met Aloysius Dawson myself. I like. Okay. Hear me out. Aloysius? Very good name. <laughs> so you have the run of the place and no one's taken notice. I personally love the name Aloysius. Maybe this that's just me. Haven, and I pray it remains so for eons to come. Okay. What will be the result if you continue to assist both Skulls and the living? Well, for the last decade, that's what's been happening. And they found a better life. Nice. What's to change? You're forgetting the epidemic. Things can go south very quickly. I've seen Hi, it. Hi, sweet boy. Oh, these are terrible times. Only those pure of heart shall prevail. It's good enough for Curtis Cameron to talk. You've turned.
turns scowl right? now. Don't you right? see the danger to anyone giving you their trust? We are all sinners, awaiting salvation. This is a simple truth, ordained by the Lord Almighty. I am a seeker of his glorious light. Harriet, mm. Miss Jones has been behaving in a most violent manner. She's going to need special attention. That's precisely the reason I brought her here. To meet old Bridget. She's the guide Harriet requires. Your friend's mom who periodically called Giallo is just like... Just for shits and giggles? It's a good name. It's who a good name. <laughs> I don't know. Look, she rarely speaks of her past, but I know she has a long one. She's likely the oldest soul in the city. I'd be fine with it. Harriet is possessed by her hatred. You cannot let her roam free. She's dangerous. She has joined her own kind, Doctor. Old Bridget is a saint to the younger skulls. That's guiding the... them to salvation and peaceful Sean? existence. Listen to me, buddy. I believe I've learned all I need to know. I'm certain you've killed no one, but one day I believe you'll cross the line. <sighs> Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. What do Sean, you mean? don't start on that. We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the oh. instruments of his divine will. We yeah. shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. Let's simply agree that all are one and the same. In death, I mean. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Mm, Sean, Explain no, we were cool before. And kneel before the Lord in praise. These urges. You know the hunger will never be satisfied. I've come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrament. Take, eat. This is my body. I don't. And so say it, the Lord. I don't trust him. Fuck. Like he was doing good work, but I don't, I don't trust him. I mean, some of it's the ominous music in the background, but it's also just like, I don't know, just the whole religious-y thing freaks me out too. And I think that's just a me, a personal bias on my end. <sighs> but I'm scared that if I kill him that like, both the people at, like, the mortals and the scowls are going to be in danger, and I don't want that. If I let him live, I can always come back and eat him later. Why is this choice so fucking hard for me? <sighs> if he fucks up once, if anyone, be it the mortals or the scowls, I'm coming back and I'm eating him. I need, I just, that is, that's I what I'm, you, this is. In fact. I envy don't peace. listen to Jonathan right now. I don't Before envy his, his peace. No I don't trust him in the slightest. You only need to give it wings. But I'm so Thank scared you, kind words, Sean. that if I, Continue your if I don't you are a good man in bad leave times. him here, that everyone's going to get hurt, and I don't want that. Keep to the light, my friend. Like all my flock, you have a home here. Any time you're in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I don't. Did not like that one. But hey, I think that puts us at mesmerism level three. 
Don't say the district will suffer my the choices, my actions. I know. Another corpse thrown in the streets. Someone's playing a very sick game. It's not Ichabod. Okay. And the sisters are fine. Okay. I was <laughs> really just about to freak out immediately and just be like, look, Sean, I just told you that you could live and now you've already fucked it up. I know this brooch. This is my mother's. A birthday gift from father. Oh, really? Old brooch? Can't look at it. Hi, I'm just a random person who just showed up at the crime and scene. Orchard Street. That's near Poplar's district. Why would this man carry off my mother's brooch? I must go there. Okay. Good evening, Mr. Throgmorton. Dr. Reed, can I be of any assistance? Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Did you see what happened to him? Actually, yes. He was thrown from the roof. Jesus! Like a log. Who could have done that? Who? Well, a vampire, of course. Look, bite marks on the neck and lacerations here. There is definitely a vampire close by. Okay. Why is it that you sound so afraid? You didn't see it. He was dead before he hit the ground. The strength required to do such a thing will. It beggars belief. Um. Goodbye. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Um. I think we're gonna. I think I'm gonna stop here for tonight. Uh, so it seems like a, a good place to kind of stop for now. I know we've still technically got an hour scheduled for stream, but Storm's getting kind of wild and it's very distracting to me. <laughs> um, and my back is hurting more than usual. So I think I need to either walk around a little bit and or stretch for for a, a bit to try and resolve this because it's uncomfy so let me quit this game real fast um but this is also a, a fine place to stop and um so we can pick it up on wednesday uh we'll talk to the ladies and then figure out what this man is doing <laughs> I might watch the storm. Like I said, it's mostly that I'm just like, my back hurts. And it's probably because of the storm. Because it's not just like, it's not like a, it's not the pain that you get when you've sat for a while. It's mostly like, I don't know, it's just like a deep achy thing. And I need, I think I just need to stretch a bit. Um, yeah, I gotta go look at wind. Alright, let's get the raid messages up. And figure out who we're gonna go say hello to. Um, I got three people on at the moment. John Wolf doing some Dead by Daylight. Snow Beats doing some Final Fantasy XIV. Calvi Berry doing more Delta Rune. Um, that's everyone I have on at the moment. Otherwise, no one under. The LGBTQ tag doing vampires well. Mommy, what are you doing? Does anybody have any suggestions or recommendations? Uh, if not, we can go say hello to Calvi Mary. It's a dikes. Body stop hurting. Oh, D Fooly just went live. I'd have to wait a few minutes for uh, Twitch to catch up. 
if we want to go hang out with Dee Fooley. Otherwise, we can go see Calvi Berry. Preferences? Familiar Territories doing Deadly Premonition. Do we want to go hang out with someone doing Deadly Premonition? They're doing the second one. That's a... To clarify, they're playing the second game. Do we want to do that? I wouldn't be paying attention at all. Because uh, I don't want to spoil anything for myself. I would love it if Twitch would uh, update. Because I know that DeFoolie's uh, watching if allies were doing it. Heard it's a bit yikes. I was going to say, there's a, some tr serious transphobia in the second one, isn't there? From what I vaguely remember hearing, I could be wrong. Do not quote me on that. Um. <laughs> if it's yikes and it's not being done by someone real transphobic, yikes, yikes, yikes. Let's not then. Um, I don't know if familiar territory. Oh, they do have the the tag. Okay, good. <laughs> Good to know. Um, so yeah, deadly premonitions with uh, with uh, somebody using the LGBTQ tag or defooly. What are we? What are we feeling? What are we thinking? Who do we want to go hang out with? I'm down for either. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, hold on, while we're making a choice, let me turn some dang music on. Oof. New friends? Let's do new friends. Let's do new friends. Let's do new friends. All right. Trying to type it into into Twitch. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, yeah, we'll see y'all on on uh, Wednesday for more Bloodstained and more Vampire. I'm really liking the games that we're playing right now. Um, not that I haven't looked forward to the games that we've played previously, but I don't know. There's just something about the the games that we're playing right now that just have me all excited, and I really enjoy. Um, so yeah, we'll be back then. Until then, take care of your dang selves. Love ya. Have a good one. We'll see y'all later.